The breakwater fisheries crab processing plant in Cottlesville on New World Island was destroyed by fire. That happened early this morning. RCMP say the fire broke out at about 2.30. Firefighters battled that blaze for hours, but the plant where roughly 150 people work just couldn't be saved. Cottlesville Mayor Rod Wheeler says they managed to save the nearby Capelin plant, but as you can understand, it is a massive loss for the area. No one was in the building at the time, and no injuries were reported. Of course, the cause of this fire is under investigation. You know, everybody is in awe. You know, nobody really expected this to happen. Not, uh, you know, and it's, it's never a good thing to happen in, our, you know, communities like this, small towns. Uh, for our local economy, it's, it's devastating. Uh, you know, small town like us, uh, it, it, it hurts our town. It hurts the number of, of surrounding towns. It, it, it's, there's no other word for it, only devastating. Oh, let's, let's hope, you know, hopefully they, they, they do rebuild, but um, I guess it's a bit early to, to tell that yet. While communities on New World Island are worried about finding work for the upcoming summer after their local crab plant burned to the ground over the weekend, NTV's Colleen Lewis has more. The Summerford and Twillingate Fire Departments were called to the crab processing plant early Sunday morning. The plant is owned by Breakwater Fisheries Limited. The building had already suffered extensive damage and crews were unable to save it. Uh, they do crab processing in this plant and they employ up to 150 to 200 people. That's uh, a lot for this region. That's, that's, uh, that's high numbers. There's no doubt about that. So what's going to happen now uh, come the spring? Because I guess they would have been going back to work shortly. Uh, yes, uh, apparently there was people going back to work in the next few weeks. So uh, we're not sure. Uh, we're not sure what's going to happen. Uh, looks like we're, we're trying to get the, the local councils together now in the next couple of days to uh, see if we can come up with a short-term solution. Today, as everyone begins looking for a solution, there's a lot of worry over where harvesters will now have to bring their crab for processing or what will happen to the 150 people who relied on the plant for their livelihood. We'll see what happens here. You know, It's, it's, it's real early, so we'll see what happens. Mm. How, how have people been reacting to this? Everybody's worried. There's a lot of, a lot of concern. Most, most definitely there's a lot of concern. People's EI is running out and they're expecting to go back to work. Most definitely, you know, Alberta slowed down and uh, a lot of people relied on this plant. Fortunately, not everything was lost. Firefighting crews did manage to save the Capelin plant here behind me. For NTV News, I'm Colleen Lewis in Connellsville. Still with that story tonight, the planned fire in Cottlesville raised questions in the House of Assembly today. The opposition demanding assurances that the government will be there to help displaced workers. NTV's Michael Connors joins us live with more on the story. Michael? Thank you very much, Glenn. While Cottlesville picks up the pieces from the weekend fire, residents are wondering if they'll get any help from the government. Today, Premier Paul Davis said the government is in contact with the town and it's assessing the situation. With about 150 people out of work because of Sunday morning's fire at the Cottlesville crab plant, questions in the House of Assembly immediately turned to the government for assistance. What is the government prepared to do to help those people, those people in this area that are affected by this fire? So I asked the Premier, will he waste no more time in meeting with community leaders as government develops its plans to help the workers and the local economy that depend on the plant's operation? I can tell you that between the Minister of uh, Fisheries and Agriculture, also uh, the Minister of Natural Resources, the MHA for the year as well, we've already had discussions, and the MHA and I have had a couple of conversations now as well, and we're assessing the circumstances there, Mr. Speaker, uh, the impact it's going to create, and we'll be responding to the people in that area, Mr. Speaker. Natural Resources Minister Derek Daly is the MHA for the region. He met with the mayor yesterday. Daly says it's too early to say what specific help the government can provide. Uh, not at this time, uh, Michael. As we know, it was a uh, devastating fire yesterday, and uh, you know the residents woke up to uh, devastating news of uh, the loss of the main employer in, in the community, and certainly the main employer on Newark Island. So it's a significant impact. Uh, there's there's obviously a lot of questions on what happens now. We have uh, I've had an opportunity yesterday to speak with plant workers, had an opportunity to uh, talk with the mayor as well, and certainly pledge our support in anything that we can do. But uh, we all recognize it's early days, and we'll have to see where it goes from here. And Daly says the province may still have to talk to the federal government about employment insurance for the displaced plant workers, but it's still too early to say what will happen. Glenn? Thank you, Michael. Michael Connor is reporting live from the newsroom tonight.